Here are six tips to help teachers master their use of Schoology. If you've ever wondered what your course looks like from your student's perspective, on the left-hand side, you can click on Members. Here's a list of your members, and you can separate them out. Members, aka students, admin, aka co-teachers, etc., and any dropped inactive students. Go to one of your students, and here on the right, click on the gear icon. In this menu, you can send them a message, message their parents, preview the course, make them an admin, or unenroll them. You probably won't use these bottom two. We want to click on Preview Course. This is how your course looks like to that student. I like clicking on materials to see their specific assignments, to double check to make sure everything looks right. Up here, you can enter another student's name to see their view, but it's probably the same for all. And you can head back to your view of the course by clicking here. For the organization of your materials, if you use a lot of folders, as I do, instead of adding material here and then trying to move it into the correct folder, click into that folder first and then come up here to add new items and Schoology will nest it in the correct folder for you. There are some important features to check out when making an assignment. Down here on the bottom, if you click the first one, you can assign this to an individual student or the whole class. The next two icons work similarly. Clicking the lock icon will lock the assignment so that students cannot submit anything. You now have these choices once you click it, and you can set a specific date to lock that assignment. The next icon can also disable any submissions, but you want to use this when you first make the assignment. Otherwise, if your students submit something, they might not be able to review what they submitted. It used to be that teachers also couldn't review any previous submissions after disabling it, but you can now see anything that has previously been submitted. You can publish or unpublish your assignments. It used to be that when you unpublished something, it was removed from your gradebook, but now it stays. You can let students see the statistics for this assignment, which is similar to what you would see here, for example, including the highest and lowest scores, the mean, median mode, and standard deviation. You can disable or allow students to comment on the assignment, and you can choose to have the assignment count towards their grade or not. And don't forget to save your changes. You might not know that your course has a recycle bin. If you go to course options and then go down here to the recycle bin, you'll see items such as assignments and files that you've recently deleted and you can click here to restore them. It doesn't store any folders that have been deleted though. There are many helpful tools in your gradebook. First, you can use this icon to toggle your gradebook full screen. Very helpful when you have lots of assignments. When you're trying to quickly enter scores, if your grading scale or rubric keeps popping up, making it difficult to tab down to the next row, you can go over to View and uncheck Show Grading Scale. You can also select to have it show here as well. There are other great features under View, and I have a separate short video that you can check out if you'd like to see more. Click on these three dots on the right and you'll see the bulk edit option. The bulk edit page is very helpful for viewing and quickly changing any of your assignments. You can click this icon to go directly to that assignment, change the name of the assignment, click this box to publish or unpublish it, check its category, the max points, the factor, the rubric, the due date, the grading period, whether it's synced to your SIS, and you can click this X to delete an assignment. You can click up here to add an assignment, and with this feature, you can shift the due dates backwards and forwards by a day for assignments that have not yet passed. This feature is very helpful if, say, you have a sick day with a sub or a snow day and you need to shift those due dates. You can click here to switch to another class, and down below you'll find your active assignments. I like using the bulk edit page to check for any mistakes, such as changing the rubric for this assignment and for removing any assignments. And don't forget to come to the bottom of the page and save your changes. So those are six tips to help teachers master their use of Schoology.